Yo, what's up everybody? Jay Croston here with vlog number two. Numero dos for your viewing time. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a couple things. I wanted to talk about forbidden foods. Forbidden foods. Foods that are forbidden. Okay, it's not that dramatic, but foods that you might crave. Things like mashed potatoes, wings, pizza, that kind of stuff. Um, I was thinking about it, cause, and the reason I'm thinking about it, because I made mashed potatoes yesterday. <sighs> Cardinal sin of lifting, <laughs> bodybuilding, all that jazz. Um, it's like carb heaven. But, but, I made it in a way that was free from all of the excess fat that usually goes into it that makes it that horror story of a food for people who are lifting weights. Um, so, how did I do that? Well, with technique, knowledge, skill, you can do that with some of the foods that are forbidden. You know, using it if you like pizza, using things like turkey pepperoni, low sodium sauce, making your own sauce, um, using a flatbread instead of pizza dough. Those kind of things um, will make a difference. And those will satisfy some of those cravings. All it takes is know-how and skill. Um, I will actually leave the recipe for those potatoes that I made uh, down below. It was really simple, just some sour, uh, some light or fat-free sour cream, red skin potatoes, roasted garlic, done. Delicious. And it's just like almost eating potatoes. So it's not that bad. Um, and a great alternative, instead of eating the same old carbs that you normally do. Um, and that's another thing I want to talk about, is moderation. Uh, I'm a fan. I like to interject my uh, dieting slash eating well with moderation of things that, you know, like people use cheat days. There's a perfect example. I like to intersperse it throughout the week. So if I wanted a cookie, I'd have one cookie, done, move on. Uh, my whole goal in speaking to you about this is you have to figure it out for yourself. You have to figure out what kind of person you are. If you can't stop yourself after you have one cookie during the middle of the week, then you can't have that. Then you have to designate a day or a meal or whatever where you can pick out. Because you got to do it. Otherwise, you're going to drive yourself insane. You have to do it. Um, but test it. Figure it out. If, if you keep screwing up during the week because you keep you know, nibbling too much, then, then set aside that day. We're just going to go to town on some gross, fatty deliciousness. Okay? Um, and, and that's what you got to do. You got you to gotta work things out for yourself. You can't take everybody's word, like even mine, <laughs> even mine. If you're doing something that works, don't screw with it. Keep on, keep on working that. Um, but if you're, if you're trying to figure out how to do this at the beginning of the year, then by all means, test it out. Do that one big day or moderate through the week and you should be good to go. Um, I'm also taking some courses online I wanted to tell you about. I'm doing three courses through Coursera. It's Coursera.org and that's a free website that you can take online classes. You can listen to lectures, you take quizzes, I'm taking a, uh, it's all food, I'm taking a quiz or um, a class on nutrition and it started today, you could probably still sign up for it. I'm taking a class on how we get food, uh, the U.S. food production system. I'm curious about that because uh, through factory farming and all those other things, it's a very interesting topic to me as a chef, so I want to learn about that. And then there's one more. And I forget what that is, but I'm taking that too. Um, it all requires time, so if you have time, do it. It's a great learning experience. If you can't do it, sign up for it. It'll send you a reminder. You know, it'll be uh, something to help you along in your food journey, uh, so to speak. So uh, I wanted to mention those couple things. Uh, I'll have uh, some more technique videos coming out this week. I will show you some more citrus. 
cutting superpowers that will get you, you know, uh, citrus is, is very good in the winter. It's one of the only bright notes that you can have that's readily available and abundant and goes with some of the wintertime foods that we have here in the States. Um, and it's fresh, it comes from, you know, Florida and, and it's, it's delicious. So I'll have a couple of videos on that, going back to basics. Like I said, we'll learn how to, the easiest and probably the manliest way to mince garlic. Um, the fastest way I do to chop an onion, mushrooms, man, just, just blowing it out of the water. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed vlog number two. I will put the links and the recipe down below and I'm out.